It's Friday, time for another weekly update. Many thanks to the Knox County Commission for unanimously approving the new comprehensive land use plan. This is the culmination of lots of hard work, discussion, and collaboration. Our goal was to create a framework which will guide better land use decisions over the next two decades. This plan achieves that. Thank you to the Advanced Knox leadership team for sticking with it and seeing the project all the way through. And also I commend commission for their input, which helped make the plan better and for all of their collaboration. This week, we also announced one of the largest manufacturing projects to come to Knox County in a decade. The Green Hat Group, which specializes in manufacturing industrial ventilation equipment and is one of Wisconsin's largest privately owned manufacturers, has chosen Knox County as the location for its fourth corporate campus, bringing with them 440 jobs, $300 million in capital investment with room for lots of future growth. One of the reasons Green Heck chose Knox County is because of our culture and values. When I visited with Green Heck's leadership, they talked about how at home they felt here. We always say that if we can get people here, the area sells itself. That was certainly the case here. Welcome Green Heck. We're so excited that you're coming to Knox County. Congratulations to l &M STEM Academy, which U.S. News & World Report has once again recognized as one of the top high schools in America. The new Harvest Farmers Market is now open. You can visit the market, which Knox County has hosted for 20 years, every Thursday from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. through September. Now, not only can you purchase locally sourced food and crafts, but there will be lots of fun events for folks of all ages. Again, that's Thursdays, from 3 p.m. until 6 p.m. This month's eat and greet was at GI Taco Truck. Please stay tuned to our social media channels to see where I'll be next month. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week.